all roads led to Rome, and this still is the case today. There are many famous roads that are still in use and people drive over or walk over on their daily existence as they go through the city. Let's take a look at a lot of those roads. Now the term via is specifically for very important roads. And for the most part, they are the roads that lead in and out of the city. You don't have too many roads called a via within the city of Rome. In the Roman Forum, of course, we have the Via Sacra. In the Campus Martius, we have the big north-south running road, still today called Via del Corso. In antiquity, it was the Via Flaminia, so large and prominent, known as the Via Lata, or the wide street. Now, we know that there were hundreds of roads throughout the city of Rome, all the way into the imperial period. We don't know the names of all these roads. There is a list of many of them on the base of the Vica Magistri dedication, but we don't know where all those smaller roads, the Vici, are located. We do know a lot of the roads leading into the Roman Forum. We can take a look at the Roman Forum today. We see the Argolidum Street leading from the Subura through the Forum Transitorium into the Forum, right against the Curia. We see the Via Sacra running that becomes a staircase, the Gamonian Steps up to the Capitoline Hill. We can go from the Forum to the Capitoline Hill by a road because it's on an incline, it's called a clevis, the clevis capitolinus. From the Forum Borarium Velabrum area, we have two roads. We have the Vicus Jugarius, and we have the Vicus Tuscus, which runs along the base of the Palatine Hill all the way to the Circus Maximus. In parallel to the Via Sacra, a little higher up on the Palatine Hill, is this parallel road called the Via Nova, but quite ancient as the Via Sacra. The Via roads that lead in and out of the city have different designations. Some roads have a consular designation. They're named after statesmen that paid for them. Aurelia, Cornelia, Appia. Many of the roads denote the destination. The Via Ostiense leads to Ostia. The Via Portuense leads to Portus. The Via Latina goes out to the Latin territories. The Via Tiburtina goes to Tivoli. The Via Prenestina heads to Prineste. The Via Labicana goes to Labici, and the Via Nomentana heads to Nomentum. The Via Solari is not named after a consul. It's not named after a destination. It simply refers to a great commodity, one of the earliest commodities, salt. And you would take this road from the Apennine Hills down into Rome and beyond to the mouth of the Tiber River, where there's Ostia and the salt pans. By the time you have the construction of the Aurelian Wall Circuit, you have 16 major gates, and through them, many of these roads would lead. In the Christian phase, many of the gates for the roads would be converted into Christian names. So the Porta Appia, going out on the Via Appia, was renamed the Porta San Sebastiano, named after the church along the road. 